In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Open Subdiv in Blender 2.76. So that's the newly released version. If you go to blender.org, you can download it right now and we can get started right away. So this is Jonathan Lampel from blenderhd.com and we're going to look at how we can make our animations faster using the new Open Subdiv. Traditionally, subdivision surfaces are really slow when you're animating and it's a huge pain. So for instance, I'm just going to take this Hulk model that I got off BlendSwap. I'll put a link to it in the description below so you can use it if you'd like. I'll add a subdivision surface modifier. Crank that up. You can see that now that he's nice and smooth. But if I play that back, we're getting a about 5 frames per second and it's very, very slow. So what I can now do is use Open Subdiv. Check this little button right here. But it'll say that it's not enabled in the user preferences. So we can just jump over to the user preferences and under System scroll down to open subdiv compute right now it's set to none but we have a few different options for how we want it to compute so the first option is CPU so it's going to be using only one thread of the CPU and it'll speed up a little bit we can see the difference here if we play that back we now get about 15 frames a second so it's already a lot better but we can get even better from there because Open Subdiv does use the GPU, but it's also available for the CPU in case you don't have an AMD card or your GPU isn't powerful enough to handle it. You can also use OpenMP, which is going to use the CPU, but it's going to be multi-threaded, so it's a little bit faster. We have GLSL Transform Feedback, so that's GPU compute, but it's putting as little stress as possible on the GPU, so it's not going to be as high performance, but you'll still get a noticeable improvement. Lastly, we have the GLSL compute, and that's what we're going to use. So that's just pure GPU. And again, right now it's only working on AMD as far as I know. Uh, but if you do have that for cycles and things like that, uh, it will work quite well. So now as we play this back, it'll take a second to sort of reset. We are now getting a much faster frame rate of about 24 frames a second, which is exactly what we want. So that's really cool, but in case you're getting a little bit slower of a result, as you can see sometimes it drops down a little bit, uh, there are a few things that you can do to actually increase the speed just a bit. So one thing that you can do is under the viewport properties, if you press N, you can uncheck outline selected, and that's going to speed it up uh, considerably. You can see it took just a second to recalculate and slow down a bit, but now it's running at a nice 24 frames a second, uh, and that will help speed up the drawing. So there are two requirements to using Open Subdiv that you have to be aware of. First of all, it has to be the last modifier in the stack. So for instance, if I take a solidify modifier and place it below that, all of your optimization is then going to be gone because it's going to take that and it's going to need to recalculate all of this and any benefit that you had is going to disappear. But if you have it last in the stack like that, you can have all of the modifiers you want and you'll get the same performance increase. So be aware that if you are using open subdiv, it does need to be last. Another thing is that you can't change the topology of the model. Um, so in, for instance, if you're using a build modifier or anything that changes the topology of the model itself, you can't have that while you're using Open Subdiv because it needs to take the model as a whole and calculate based on that. So you can still use modifiers like the armature and things like that where you bend and warp the model in lots of different ways, but you can't change the actual topology of it with Open Subdiv. And also you can't have other objects use the geometry of this mesh. So, for instance, you can't use an open subdiv object as a mesh deform or something like that. But in the majority of cases, when you're animating characters and things like that, this is going to be really handy for animators and riggers. Uh, so you can see exactly where things are going. And you can have a nice high level of subdivision surface and easily be able to tweak these poses. So, for instance, if I was not using open subdiv, these changes would take a really long time and just be a pain in the butt. But now that we have that, thanks to the developers, we can now make changes very quickly and see exactly how they're deforming with nice smooth results in real time. 
So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Go download Blender 2.6 from Blender.org, and I'll see you on BlenderHD.com.